yeah, here's where we left off in Hedis, and now let's uh, create the UV layer out for this piece here. Um, had, um, hover over uh, this edge here and hit, uh, first um, we might want to click on edge extend and auto fit. Um, and then hover over that edge here and hit C. And it's going a long way, but not all the way uh, around that uh, around that geometry. So hover over this edge here, hit C over this one. Try to get it all the way around this object. Uh, head is uh, sometimes I don't know why that is, but uh, now it's taken a bunch of more edges, but it's not sti still not going around. And we're missing two edges here. Hover over it, hit C, hit C, and now we have um, that loop selected. So now we um, hover over this piece of geometry and then hit Enter. Okay, so we got one piece. We do the same here on the other side. So hover over this edge, hit C. This one here, hit C. Maybe we try this one, hit C. This one, oh, okay. This one here, this one, this one. Hit C, hit C here, and again. Okay, now we are having that whole edge loop selected and hover over that piece here, hit enter. And now hover, just hover over this uh, piece here, hit D. We do the same on the other side, hover over that and hit D. And now, um, yeah, we have in to insert another um, cut here. So we want to put it somewhere where we don't see it. So somewhere about here. Yeah, so hover over this edge and then hit C. And then um, if you want to yeah, make a, some kind of a split here, all you need to do is uh, hover over this and hit Shift S. And there you go, it uh, creates a split here. So now uh, hover over that object and hit D. And um, now we have all the pieces of the geometry in our UV edit. So click, even if it's black here, click on that UV button here, and then you get to the UV layout. Okay, so what we want to do now is uh, first lay out uh, those guys here. So hover over this and hit Shift S, Shift F, excuse me, Shift F, and let it calculate. It's oh, psychedelic. Hit space. <laughs> so it was funny, man. That was funny. That's looking crazy. Okay, and then hit a space again, and that's looking not good. <laughs> so uh, hit Control Z to undo that, and hit co uh, Control Z to undo that again. And now. Um, yeah, we are back here, so now we have to redo this, so hover over this, um, hit D, and then go to, uh, click here on UV, and then I might want to zoom out here, oh, zoom in, there you go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with those two pieces here, I mean, they, they look <laughs> they look pretty cool, so um, yeah, let's take care about the, the piece that we really want to lay out, right? So now with that, hover over this guy here and hit uh, Shift F. And yeah, until nothing happens anymore and then uh, hit spacebar. And then wait until this guy is uh, getting in a nice shape here. Okay, right now nothing happens anymore. So hit spacebar and there you go. So we have a uh, UV layout. So right now I'm holding down spacebar and I hold it down and middle mouse and then I can move this guy. But that's something we can tweak later on in Maya as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have uh, that piece done here. So now let's save that here under headers. You click on save and then uh, call that wristband piece UV and say save. Okay, now I'm going back to Maya and I definitely want to delete this guy here. So I click on that and delete it and then 
I go in here and say import and I'm taking the wristband piece UV that I just created and had is and import that. And there it is. So having that uh, done here, let's uh, try something. So okay, so let me uh, try something here. Let me select all of those objects, all of those objects. And let's uh, try to unparent those um Let's try to, yeah, let's just try that. Edit and then unparent. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, to be honest, the first time when I modeled this watch, um, I didn't use instances. Uh, I thought it would be cool because later on, if you uh, yeah, try to change anything on the, the, the object here and you have instances, you can uh, tweak verts and stuff like that um, without duplicating those guys and I never thought um, that when you're <laughs> doing the UV layout that uh, this is going to cause uh, problems like that. Okay. All right. So um, yeah, with that guy um, done here, so this is the only guy here that has the UV layout um, uh, almost done. So let's check that out here on the UV texture editor. And we have to actually we have to tweak that. Uh, yeah, just a tiny bit. So, uh, select some UVs here, and then say uh, select go to shell, select shell. I've got a shortcut for that. I, I configured that. Um, so you can up here select select shell, um, and like I said, I've got a shortcut for, for that. So if I select um, only a, a one uh, or a few uh, uh, UVs here, I hit Alt Y. All right, and then uh, yeah, with those. Selected, I can go in and say, okay, I want to rotate the that guy. Yeah, well, in the end, okay, so we have have the UVs lay out, laid out here. It's not looking very good, but um, yeah, let's keep it like it is. And now we take uh, this object here, and then shift select this guy here, and then we say under mesh transfer attributes here so click on the options and um, yeah let's reset the settings and I want uh, th the only thing I want to uh, change here if you have set this to the default is to component right and then say apply so now what we should have is if we select this guy here and we go to the uh, texture editor it should have the same UVs as the, our first guy here okay so if I select this guy and then shift select the next one and then go to mesh and say transfer attributes it should uh, have the same effect so now we select this guy shift select this one hit G to transfer the attributes select this one, shift select this one, hit G and then we select this one, shift select this one here and hit G and that's uh, working out. So now we take, we can take this one, shift select this one, hit G and then we select this one and this one, G, this one, shift select this one, G. You get the idea this one, shift select this one, G, this one, this one, hit G to repeat the last tool, and this one, and this one, and one final step, hit G. So now all those pieces here should have the same UV layout, and that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now um, let's uh, go in and um, yeah, let's go in and pause the video because um, yeah, I'm running out of time again. Um, and let's do some final UV layout for the wristband connection up here. And uh, yeah, then we are ready to texture. <laughs> 